so I wanted to talk about losing clients and how to deal with it, what to do. Uh, so losing clients happens to all of us, whether we're be a, you know a top model, a new model, an average model. Like it happens to all of us. It happens to me. I've lost two clients. Well, I wouldn't say loss. I've cut off two clients this week because of disrespect and too much toxic masculinity and aggression that came from them. Um, the first client, he was a young black 28 year old, which is typical. I, I don't really like to take on young clients, um, especially not young black ones. Black 28 year old, 28 year old man, and he, I told him I don't do penetration, and during our shows, he kept, he kept asking me, oh, get the dildo, do this and do, like, he kept asking me to, like, finger myself, get, use the dildo, and use this in my, in my, in, you know, in my anal, and do this, and that, and this, and that, and, like, he was just asking for too, too much, and that I told him I didn't do, and, and he felt like since he sent me money, uh, you know, I'm supposed to do whatever he say. And I'm like, no, that's, that's, that's not how this works at all. That's not how this works. Client number two that I cut off, he, you know, he bought pictures and videos from me and which to which totals up to a hundred dollars that that's how much he spent on my video and my pictures right a hundred dollars just for the time that i've known him not all at once just not including the private shows on the website but anyways that that's just how much he cashed at me like off the website that does how much he cashed at me so he would text me now none of these guys have my real number they have like a text free number like my i guess you should say my business phone my business number my business line i shall say so he texts me and he he would text me and he would think that he thought that i guess i'm supposed to be on his time like if he texts me i'm supposed to immediately text him back really fast which you know i no i wasn't really with that I was like he decides to send me a text message and say oh okay well Go ahead and ignore me. I'm not going to cash up you no more. I'm not going to send you no more money. And I said, oh, okay. I deleted his number. Blocked him. And I said, oh, I don't want your money. I, I don't want this toxic ass money. Keep your fucking money. If you want to unfollow me on the website, you can go ahead and unfollow me. I don't care. Because I'm so tired of these cheap ass men throwing up how much money they spent when it be pennies on the dollar. It be pennies on the fucking dollar. Talking about how much you spent and oh, I'm not going to send you no more money no more. I'm not going to cash at me you no more. Ninja, first of all, you're not going to cash at me no more. You cashed at me $100 in total over the span of one month. For a picture and like two videos you sent me a hundred dollars <laughs> child listen oh all money is not good money 
make sure your money has positive energy surrounding it positive energy about it make sure you're not accepting toxic money and toxic masculinity make sure you're not do get, getting money and accepting money and doing things that you don't really want to do make sure your clients are not being toxic towards you and belligerent and disrespectful towards you because they can keep that money they can keep that disrespectful toxic ass money okay it's better to be comfortable in making money than to be uncomfortable making money and just know that losing clients happens to the best of us it it doesn't just happen because oh oh i'm ugly or i'm fat or i'm not all that no it happens because either they just maybe got laid off maybe they go on through something in your life and they can't spend as much right now or maybe you're the one that cut them off because they're toxic just like i did i i the two clients i lost i cut them off you know and and there has also been times where i would see guys come in my room and tip me and i and I, you know, don't see them for months and months and months. And I'm like, oh, well, maybe I lost them. Or maybe, you know, but, the, but don't have that mindset of maybe I lost them. But maybe think, okay, maybe they're going through something. Or maybe they'll be back, you know. But either way, you know, we, we, we win some, we lose some. It is what it is. So don't feel shame or discouraged about it. It is what it is. So I'm going to start doing more PSO advice too since i mainly juggle i juggle pso and webcam both um but i do pso a little more than webcam since i'm just starting out in webcam like i've been in the industry for, for about a year now so i'm still kind of new a little bit but um yeah mm -hmm. all right y'all bye